Hi, this is going to be a quick video today, but I wanted to show you an instrument that you can make out of a garden hose and a funnel. Garden horn, hose a horn, whatever you want to call it. Um, do not, do not, do not cut up your garden hose without asking your parents. Okay, take an old one if you got any old ones. The reason I don't make these in school is because garden hoses aren't cheap, but this is really fun. So you can cut it in about half. It doesn't have to be exactly half. You can make one smaller one and one bigger one to get some different pitches. But you can only make two out of one garden hose because you need these connector ends. They make great mouthpieces. So you cut it, and then you duct tape a funnel to the end. These are like 99 cent cheapo funnels. Duct tape the funnel to the end. I like to put some duct tape around here just to make it easier to hold. It's not necessary. And then you have a wonderful example of a brass instrument. Is this made out of brass? No. Yeah. But it makes sound the same way a brass instrument does. You take your lips and you buzz them. That was a better buzz. Most brass players are going to be laughing at me right now because I am a woodwind player. But I can still get a pretty decent little sound out of this thing. horn, meaning it can only play the notes of the harmonic series. There are no buttons to push. So, you don't get a lot of notes out, but it's just fun. Alright, I'm not a brass player, so I can't get super high with it, but there you go, the garden horn, hose a horn, whatever you want to call it. And if we were doing a lesson on brass instruments, I would bring this out and pass it around. But be careful when you're first starting it, because it will hurt your lips if you do it too much. Alright, I hope you enjoyed the hose of horn. Have a great day.